Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Uh, so I wanted to do a video um, demonstrating sort of what I think was a somewhat creative use for a um, telescoping mini desk tripod from Ulanzi. And that is what you're seeing in the corner of the screen. Um, I basically just got a light up onto that and uh, you can see that it's sitting on top of the Ulanzi MT34 and it's doing its thing that's my desk light next to it. And that's what you're actually seeing illuminating uh, me here is uh, this desk light. Now, um, what I want to do um, here in, or in this, in this video is um, I'm gonna just talk a little bit about the various things that you can use for side lighting. Now, just wanna point out, um, I make these videos to share my ongoing journey through YouTube um, as I sort of try to get a bit better at this. Um, I'm recording these vlogs using OBS Studio. Uh, really encourage people to check out that tool. It's super powerful. Um, I love the fact you can record multiple webcams in. That is crazy, crazy useful. Um, but uh, yeah, so not coming across as the expert here or not intending to, I am showing you guys um, a way to do this and particularly because uh, it's a way using fairly cheap gear. So um, if you don't have a ton of money uh, to spend on accessories and that's kind of my situation. I'm sort of budgety in this process then um, Some of this stuff could work nicely. So, you know, um, I do buy from Aliexpress and it takes a while to get to where I'm based four to six weeks So that kind of creates a strong incentive to use what I have um, And see how see what can be made to work. So this light um, that you're looking at on the side now before I demonstrate what I've done here with the Ulanzi. I want to show you guys a couple more options that I was playing around with. One of these, and this is again just kind of repurposing gear. This is actually a webcam scissor arm and I've noticed that a lot of the AliExpress vendors who are selling these ring lighting kits are selling the ring light or the LED panel and they're selling it with one of these boom arms. So um, that could totally work and I actually did this last night, but if you already have a boom arm, particularly if it has a quarter inch, uh, quarter inch on the top, then uh, you don't need to go for one of these kits. And I generally don't like the whole kind of kit setup thing. Um, so this is what I did yesterday and it worked really nicely. Um, I personally didn't go with this because um, I don't like generally cluttering up, cluttering up my desk even further than it is already cluttered uh, with a bunch of things that are always connected there. So. Uh, you know, this is nice. Um, it does connect with a, um, this kind of a thing. It's a screw in, uh, you know, tourniquet system. And you just kind of put your desk here, put this here and just kind of screw, screw, screw until it clamps on. It's got a little clamping, clamping mechanism there. Uh, now that worked nicely. And if you don't have my neuroticism about cluttering up your desk with gear, then I would say it probably might make more sense. Um, but one, one disadvantage would be that uh, when you have the stand, you can really move about your desk. Now I have a big wide desk and it was, if I want to put that, that light, the, the light that you're looking at off to the side, then it would be very far off to the side. Um, so using this stand gives me a little bit more flexibility. The second option um, to mention is what this actually came with. So the light you're looking at here or the light that you're, look, you're watching um, me be lit with. Uh, so this was, I picked this up on Amazon. It was marketed as a like, you know, laptop Zoom video conference lighting kit. Uh, and if you take those words away, all it really meant was that it had this little uh, clip on thing, thingy-majig. I'm really, uh, really nailing the terminology today. It had this little clip on thing. So this would go onto your laptop. Um, and then it's got a little GoPro style thing here. I'll just show you the other side and this, this is a quarter inch right so you just you know mechanism is pretty straightforward you just loosen up the um this and then you can just move this about and because it's got a quarter inch with nice little uh soft material there you can just mount uh you i mean you could you could totally put a microphone on that uh so these are useful things i've bought a couple to have just around the place uh to put different lights and different plates different lights in different places. Uh, you know, you could put a microphone on this, you could have a shotgun microphone on this as you do the video blogs. Um, I think these are really good tools if you're doing uh, Zooms 
or even if you're doing a professional interview from, a, uh, from your laptop um, or you're being interviewed by a TV station and they wanna interview you over Skype, those are all situations where uh, if you're in an airport business center, pulling out something like this with a bit of lighting is brilliant. Um, Nevertheless, if you are in a more um, sort of stationary setup like the home office I'm recording this from, um, I don't think you, I think you can go a little bit more, um, go for more optimal solutions. And I didn't want something that was just kind of put, sticking onto my monitor for hours at a time. I was a little bit worried that it would somehow damage it. Um, so this is why I went for this solution. So that's, those are the other things that you can do and that I was doing in the last day uh, to get some lighting, but I really prefer this. So let me just uh, turn on web, webcam two or switch over to cam two. And um, I am now going to uh, put that up to full screen if I can figure this out. Um, and I will be showing you momentarily what this actually looks like. So here it is. Big reveal. So uh, this is the Ulanzi MT34. This is the uh, clip-on light that I picked up on Amazon. Now, I'm doing these videos to show show uh, my creative process and what I'm using. I'm not trying to sell affiliate stuff on Amazon, so I will not be putting a link in the description, but honestly, they're all kind of the same. Um, they tend to have a quarter inch at the bottom. So what I did was I just kind of like reverse Let's say reverse engineer it sounds way too fancy but i just took the light off the stand here and then i just mounted the webcam uh the ulanzi mt34 and i basically just put this on top and uh that's the setup so if i just kind of bring you guys out you can understand a bit more what we're doing here so this is the uh, this is the lighting here. This is the uh, webcam that you're sort of watching me from, the main webcam, the C930E. Uh, that's where I have OBS running and that's my other screen. So um, I can sort of move this uh, lighting source about my desk. Um, I can tilt it up, I can tilt it down. It's got a ball mount on the top here. So if I want to pivot uh, the light up or down, now it's, it's locked at the moment and I'm holding the webcam with one hand so this is a little tricky but you get the idea. I can move that basically all about the place uh, which is super, super useful. Very useful. I'm trying to avoid using the word super because I have to be honest, it kind of annoys me a little bit. Um, so that's basically the uh, setup that I'm running with here and the Ulanzi MT34 um, is really nice. So it's a piece of kit. I reviewed it before on this YouTube channel. Um, the advantage that I see in it over other little cheap uh, Ulanzi tripods and monopods, etc., is that it has a telescopic pole. Um, it has a quarter inch on the top, so it's not it's, you're not just limited to putting smartphones up there. And it has a tripod built into it. So something I learned very quickly doing video blogs from different places and some of those. Some of those were uh, failed efforts, but um, you don't wanna be kind of bringing around, like you could bring a little tripod and a stick and a quarter inch and adapters with you, but you wanna have stuff when you're out um, in the field, you wanna have stuff that just kind of works and that's ready to like be sprung out of your bag, set up on a table, camera on it, boom. You don't wanna be messing about. Um, so that is uh, what I'm using it for. And I wanna just show you guys just the difference it makes. So the light's about here relative to me. So you can see my face on this side lit up a bit more than this side. And um, this is me playing with the levels, turning the light down. I'm gonna go and turn the light off so you can see the difference. And even when it's off, bear in mind, there is a um, desk light over there, an Ikea desk light. So it's not, it won't be totally lightless, uh, but it should make nevertheless quite a difference. So now I've turned it totally off um, and I can see maybe this will come through in the video. Um, just the, the webcam starting to struggle a bit versus the, um, I'm starting to get some lines in the screen and uh, it's also quite easy to just go way too bright on this thing. So now I have it at full maximum brightness and it's very, very bright. Um, so I've been keeping it for the most part just at its second level and plugging this in um, to a USB plug. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all I can say about it. Uh, Ulanzi MT34 with a uh, recording light for video conferencing, 
makes, I think, a nice webcam, a nice little uh, vlogging setup. So I'm just going to go and down, 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 and I can easily telescope up and down. So here's the tripod that's it's sitting on the desk with. Uh, I can put the tripod down and I can just go all the way and this gives me so I can get that light relatively high like above the height of my monitors um, if you can see it all the way back here and I can telescope all the way down to here um, I'm going to just turn it off for a second so that I can show you uh, the the ball bearing thing I didn't show without um, cutting off the so there you go so now I've loosened up the joint um, at the top and you can see that I, if I want to pivot the light forward and get it up whoops pivot the light forward a little bit maybe not that much um, let's just do this much let's do this much and then I want to like set it up to this height then I just need to go to the bottom and firm up on that locking ring and now look I've got a nice little uh, light that's about this high monitor height or thereabout uh, but um, it's and when I want to put it away the difference between having that scissor thing is it's this thing is really really easy I just push it all the way down and then I can store it on a cabinet just in this setup with the light on top and you know it's only about sort of 20 centimeters high so I uh, hope this video is useful um, I love the way that all these camera accessories are interchangeable quarter inch mounts you can put stuff onto camera tripods and see if it works and uh, hopefully this will prove to be a successful <laughs> example of that kind of uh, experimentation process hope this video is useful if you'd like to get more videos from me please feel free to subscribe to this youtube channel